In one of our previous videos, we created a gradient text and a viewer requested to create a video on animated gradient. So here we are. I have created a squared container with size of 300 and a linear gradient which you can see on your right side. Notice the begin and end properties of the gradient. This defines from where the gradient will start and where it will end. Right now it begins from the top left corner of the container and ends at bottom right corner. That is why you can see the yellow color starting from top left and red color at bottom right corner. We will somehow change this begin and end points to animate the gradient. First of all, convert the stateless widget to state full widget. Then we will define an animation controller which will control our animation. And also define two animations of type alignment since we will change the alignments of the gradient. Inside init state method, initialize the controller and give some duration to it. The error is because our state object is not ticker provider. So let's add single ticker provider state mix into it to make it ticker provider. Now the tricky part comes. We will have to create a sequence for both the alignments. To make you understand the logic behind it, I have created this drawing for you. For the top color alignment which is yellow, we will start from top left side and the end on top right. Then start from top right and end on bottom right and so on until we reach to the initial point. So in our first sequence, we will start from top left to top right. We will have to call animate on this sequence so that we can assign this animation to our top alignment animation object. Also we will have to pass controller to the animated method to tell the sequence who will control it. Now our next sequence will start from top right corner to bottom right corner. Notice that we are starting the next sequence from the point we ended on the previous sequence, and then the other two sequences to reach our initial point. The weight property in each sequence defines what percentage of total animation time this sequence will take. Since we want to keep all sequences equal, so we assign same number to it that is 1. Now for the red color or we can say our bottom animation we will start from the bottom right corner and complete all the sequences until we reach to bottom right corner again. Our sequences are created. Now make the controller repeat the sequences infinitely. The gradient is not animating because we are not passing the animated values to it. Wrap the container with animated builder so that whenever the value of animation changes the builder automatically rebuild our container. And pass controller inside animation property and at the end pass the top animation value to the begin property and value of bottom animation to end property of the gradient. And restart the app. And make to sure hit the subscribe button to get the next video.